Hi, this is Andy Barclay with Remax Elite, and today we are visiting 5700 Russick Drive in Vieira, Florida, in the Sunstone community. The home that we are visiting today is a four bedroom, four bath home located on a corner lot, almost a third of an acre. As you can see as we walk up, the home has a paver driveway and a paver walkway. Under air, we have just over 3,500 square feet at 3530, and under roof, we have over 4,000 square feet at 4,041. As you can see, we have a screened porch, not only on the front, but as you'll see soon on the back of the home. Uh, the home does have hurricane shutters, which is, well, it's good if we have a hurricane, which is rare, but mostly it's good because they will help you save on your homeowner's insurance if you have a wind mitigation study done. Uh, we have an eight foot door leading into the home. And as you can see, once you walk through the front door, we have a beautiful living space, uh, 12 foot ceilings throughout. We're currently looking at the formal dining area, which you can see is quite roomy. Let me move to the corner here just so I can get the camera to adjust. Uh, we have tile throughout most of the home. Those areas that do not have tile have new carpet, new within just the past couple months. Turning around, I'm showing you the front entry that we just came through. You can see it's very bright and open. Uh, to the right of the door, we have a room that is currently being used as a bedroom. Technically, it's an office. Uh, I cannot call it a bedroom on the MLS because it doesn't have a closet, but it does have that functionality if you choose to use it that way. We do have four other bedrooms through the home that we'll see in just a minute. On the left here, we have the formal living space. You can see we have the uh, tray ceiling and crown molding up there. Again, nice and bright, very roomy, brand new carpet. Now, before we get into the rest of the living space, since we're here, I'm going to show you the master suite first. Now it is a split floor plan, meaning that the master bedroom is on the side opposite the other bedrooms, which is great for uh, sound control. So a large bedroom, you can see that we have a king size bed here, lots of room throughout the house. We have a door leading out to the back screened porch, which we will visit soon. Uh, here again, we have the tray ceilings and crown molding. As we walk toward the master bedroom, I'll show you that we have two walk-in closets. We have one right here. I won't give you an in-depth look at the closet, but uh, enough to give you an idea of the size. So lots of space here. But I will give you an in-depth look at the bathroom here. So a lot to show you. We have the jetted garden tub. We have a large walk-in shower. And then as I turn to my right, you'll see that we have a double sink set up with Corian counters and real wood, uh, actually maple wood counters. And then behind the door here, let me just open it up to show you. We have the uh, water closet here, private commode. Now we're walking back into the main living space. We have a great family room back here, just on the other side of this archway. Uh, not only is it a great family room, but a super kitchen, pretty amazing. We have Corian counters, uh, real wood cabinets, again, that maple that matches the bathroom that we just saw, stainless appliances. Plenty of recessed lighting. And then back this way, I'll just show you quickly, we do have the laundry room. 
One of the neat things about this house, which you may not think about right away, but uh, the garage, in fact, I'll open the door for you. The garage is just on the other side here. It's dark right now, but what I'm getting at is you can go from the garage. So imagine your hands are full of groceries, kid stuff, you name it. You can walk in, walk into the house, and immediately on your left and your right, you have counters to put your stuff down. So you're not carrying your stuff through the home as you have to do in other homes. Just a nice bonus there. And speaking of bonuses, if I take you this way, walking toward the formal dining area, we have a large pantry on the right, but we have this butler's pantry on the left. Some more storage space, even if you don't think you need the extra uh, butler's pantry, you still have the extra counter space, extra storage, beautiful cabinets that match those in the kitchen. Uh, just all in all, just a nice prep space if you're doing any kind of food preparation. We're now taking a look at the formal, I'm sorry, the uh, informal, the family room here. We have the staircase leading up to the bonus room. I'll take you there in just a minute. Going to give you a quick peek at the porch. I will take you outside after we look upstairs. But a huge screened porch back there. Uh, by the way, there is room for a pool in the backyard if you choose to add one. And then working this way, we have a bathroom in front of us. Again, we have four full baths in this home. We have a very nicely sized bedroom to the right. And then as I turn to my left, we have another very nicely sized bedroom on the other side of the bathroom here. And as we walk back toward the rear of the home, we have what could be, a, well, it is a bedroom, but it could make a nice in-law suite, uh, just slightly separated from the rest of the home. We have another large bedroom here with a nicely sized closet. Let me show you here. That's the closet. You've seen a closet before, <laughs> but you get my point. So a nice size closet, a uh, very spacious room. And directly across from it, we have a full-size bath again with a nice large walk-in shower. So these days, a lot of, uh, we have multi-generational homes, whether it's for the younger generation that is uh, still trying to find their way in the world, or perhaps for the older generation that is looking for a place to stay with their family, uh, this would be a great home for that. And before I walk away, I'll show you that we have another neat feature in this house. We have this pool bath door. Uh, even though there is no pool yet, you have the capacity to have people go in and out of the house and go directly into the restroom rather than having to walk through the main living space with wet feet. Uh, difficult to add after you move into the home, but nice to have if it's already there. And now that we've seen the downstairs, I'm going to head upstairs. So as if that wasn't enough, I did say that it is 3530 square feet under air. While we have a lot of space downstairs, you can see as I turn around, we have this massive bonus room upstairs that offers all kinds of options. Uh, it even has a full bath, so this could be, could be used as another bedroom. Uh, it does have a closet. We're not calling it a fifth bedroom because really it, it truly is a bonus room, but it could be used as yet another bathroom if you had that need. I'm sorry, another bedroom if you had that need. Uh, clearly we're looking at a bathroom here. In fact, you could even divide this room if you wanted to into separate spaces. There's so much space.
We are now going to head downstairs so I can show you the backyard. I'll just take a second here to show you this living space again. Just a wonderful home. Uh, shows like a model, very clean, certainly move-in ready. Just a fantastic house, great location. If you have been looking in the Melbourne area, uh, you know that beautiful homes like this and this price point don't come along every day. We have a lot of people moving to the area, so there is a lot of, uh, a lot of demand, quite frankly. If you've been looking from a location outside of Melbourne, you've probably noticed these homes go quickly once they are listed. So my point being, if you're watching from somewhere else and you have some interest in this home, if you have an agent, I would encourage you to contact them so that they can take a look at it for you. If you don't have an agent yet, I would encourage you to give me a call <laughs> so we can talk about the house some more. My wife Abby and I are both full-time realtors with Remax Elite. We're in the top 1% of realtors in the area, a uh, member of the Remax Hall of Fame. We know the area well and we'd be happy to help in any way we can. But as you can see, like I mentioned earlier, there's plenty of room for a pool, uh, a nice fenced backyard. And let me turn to my right again, just to show you this space we have on the right. Uh, if you've looked in Vieira, the homes are newer, which is nice, but typically with newer homes, they tend to be a little bit closer together than you find in older construction. And one of the many great things about this home, let me show you, is on one side you have nobody because it's a corner lot, but you also have space on this side. So one of the things people frequently tell me that they don't like about subdivisions is they don't like homes that are crammed in together, which I certainly get. The nice thing about this house is you don't have that situation at all. So you can have the security and peace of mind of the gated community, but you're also not packed in next to your neighbor uh, looking at them through your windows. So working our way back inside, <clears throat> uh, just in summary, today we visited 5700 Russick Drive in Vieira, Florida. Uh, this home's in the beautiful Sunstone community. If you would like more information about this house, my name is Andy Barclay and my wife and I are both full-time realtors, as I just mentioned. Uh, it's 3530 square feet under air and over 4000 square feet under roof. If you'd like more information, you can call or text me at 321-514-9862. Or if you prefer, you can go to our website to read more about the home or to reach out to us through email. The website is www.brevardhomesandcondos.com. I thank you for watching.